Hi everyone, I'm Phil from Cafe Vancouver and this is Jesse and you, Gigi, and we're from SFU AMB. We're gathered here today to remember Earl Silverman. Earl was a longtime men's rights advocate and founded the Calgary Men's Alternative Safe House in 2010, believed to be the only men's domestic violence shelter in Canada at that time. By all reports, Earl gave everything he had to keep the safe house open and raise awareness of the fact that women and men are victims of domestic violence at virtually equal numbers, yet victim resources are made available almost exclusively to women. Tragically, neither the media nor the Canadian government paid attention. After three years of running the safe house out of his own home and denied funding multiple times, Earl was forced to sell his home and close the safe house. Earl himself had been a victim of domestic violence. Quote, when I went into the community looking for some support services, I couldn't find any. There were a lot for women, and the only programs for men were for anger management. As a victim, I was re-victimized by having these services telling me that I wasn't a victim, but I was a perpetrator. Shortly after Earl was forced to close the safe house, in the early morning hours of April 26, 2013, he penned a three-page letter to his friends and loved ones and then hung himself. In his final years, Earl devoted his life to working for fairness and justice for men and their families. In his letter, he wrote that a, he hoped a review of his death would help create services for men. In 2014, CAFE launched the first Canadian Centre for Men and Families that offers shelter for male victims in the Toronto area. It remains open to this day. None of us ever met Earl, but all of us here today fighting for issues affecting men and boys know we're standing on the shoulders of brave men like Earl who would not stay quiet. Earl Silverman, you will not be forgotten, and we, we will, will not stay, stay quiet. quiet. Please share this video with the hashtag, RememberEarl.